Hello, this is John Wilmot here of Carol Crory Cottage and Labyrinth Gardens presenting the first of a new series that I'm calling Carol Crory Journal. Some of you may be subscribers to the Woodland Barding Weekly. Well, I wasn't very good at keeping that up, was I? But with the Carol Crory Journal, I'm getting more adventurous. They're going to be short videos and a few times a week. And we'll feature something going on either in the Labyrinth Garden or something that I'm doing in the cottage kitchen. But today, it's been raining quite a bit. This is the first chance of being able to get outside. I was hoping to do something, uh, tell you a bit about uh, the yarrow planting that's been going on here and the benefits of yarrow. Uh, inside I've been preparing hawthorns, so that's something else I may well talk about. So what shall I do first? It's actually not too bad at the moment, it's windy, but maybe let's have a look at the yarrow. In case you're not sure what yarrow is, uh, the, here it is, it's flapping away in the wind. I have a white yarrow here. Here is a bit of the cerise, it's the uh, pinky one. It's a pinky yarrow. I've been planting plenty of yarrow plants around the outskirts of this herb spiral labyrinth. Uh, but there are other plants that want to grow here too. So there's quite a bit of competition amongst these yarrow plants and all of the other wild plants that are around here. So they're quite invisible at the moment. I am confident that several will survive and spread and I will just let them do their own thing and keep other plants around them and smothering them thinned out when I can or when we have volunteers. We don't have that many flowers. I have picked several flowers and dried them and I'll explain why in a moment. There's a large patch here that I have uh, posted examples on Facebook and a lot of these large leaves that you see amongst the yarrow, that's horseradish. There's some burdock, but there's horseradish as well. And there's a nice bunch of horseradish leaves over there. But I will talk about horseradish on another episode. It was too windy outside for me to talk to you about yarrow while amongst the yarrow. So I'm inside the Karakori Cottage kitchen and I'll speak a couple of minutes about the benefits of yarrow, which is really a whole medicine chest in a herb. I probably won't remember all of the benefits because there are so many of them. But some of you watching this may remember I went down with an awful sickness both in January and in June that was just a continual digestive diarrhea. Well, I don't need to talk too much about that. But the one thing that arrested that and helped me to heal quickly was the yarrow and there was plenty of yarrow in the garden in June thank goodness for that uh, mixed with uh, the green clay that was uh, delivered to me by a neighbor uh, Jan McAvoy uh, but anything we have a problem with digestion especially that sort of jumpy stomach where you feel anxious and stressed uh, the yarrow is very good uh, for calming and so it's wonderful as a tea it's also very good when it's young as a vegetable and a lot of people don't use it as a vegetable much now but I think it was up until about the 17th century that people regarded it as an important vegetable because they didn't really have the access to cabbage and broccoli like we have today and tarragon a lot of people love to use tarragon with fish and with other dishes but it's very difficult to grow here it, I have not had much success with it, but where you would use tarragon, certainly chop up some yarrow, it's very good for that. There's a whole multitude of feminine problems that the yarrow is a great ease for, uh, where there's breast problems, uh, where there's undercarriage problems, menstruation problems, and in any situation where, I suppose be blunt, if you've got a sore ass, make a bath and just get some yarrow into the hot water and just sink in it and it'll ease. And that's really connected with a important first aid benefit of yarrow and that is the ability to stop bleeding pretty quickly. If uh, with, with the lads, if they cut themselves shaving, with women, if they cut themselves shaving, any grazes, any cuts, it's a very good herb to have in your first aid kit when you're out hiking because it will rub it in, it'll rest any uh, 
cuts and especially for people who might be on blood thinners that they have to be very careful because if they cut themselves it's very hard to stop the bleeding well make a poultice out of the yarrow and it'll help you with that well that's just a few of the benefits of yarrow uh, it's something you could go on and on as i say it's a first aid chest herb and it's also pops up a lot in folklore and mythology perhaps to many of you the most popular or the most known is the use of yarrow stalks throwing the yarrow stalks in reading the I Ching so I, th I think I'll leave it at that with yarrow uh, this time but uh, it is a herb plant that I will come back to you time and time again because to me it is one of the if not the most important herb that I've got out there in the herb labyrinth spiral thanks for watching this video if you would like to visit us at Karakori Cottage and Labyrinth Gardens, please visit karakoricottage.com first. For more videos like this, please subscribe below. Until the next Karakori Journal, happy dreams!